Tell us about this horn and maybe your percussion items, but the horn first. Yeah, let's talk about the horn. So this is my Yamaha Alto Sax one, so Yaz 62, um, Yamaha 62, and it's Series 2 if I remember correctly. Um, I got this back in high school, and I've considered upgrading, I've considered, you know, doing manipulations to the horn, because you can do that. You can sure. upgrade a saxophone, and you right. can change things out and make it customized. Right. Um, one of my favorite alto sax players of all time, Johnny Hodges, he used to do that all the time. Sure. But I just have grown to love the sound I can get on this horn. I have this emotional connection to it after so many years of performing professionally, of taking trips with it, playing for family members, mm -hmm. recording videos, stuff like that. It's, right. I don't really want to change it out anymore. I understand that completely, and mm -hmm. I love that, and I've heard about 30 notes out of it. I don't consider myself a saxophone audio expert, but sure. I love the tone of it, too. Thank you. It's Yeah. Well, some, yeah, of, we get uh, you know, some of my inspirations on it, like I mentioned, would be Johnny Hodges and... A couple other people, maybe you guys. I'm trying to keep it a little bit, you know, audience friendly. First of yeah. all, we have <laughs> remind us who Johnny Hodges is. Really yeah, quickly. sure. Yeah, Johnny Hodges. Uh, you might know the name Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington's lead alto saxophonist in the band. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Not only Johnny, but uh, a more common name would be John Coltrane. Okay, John you know? Coltrane. Yeah. I recognize that name. For sure. So did Johnny Hodges play this is a tenor sax? He actually, he, this is alto sax. Alto, no, excuse you're good. You're You good. said that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't worry, man. He used to play a bunch of alto saxophone. and uh, You know, I'm not a big tenor player, to be completely honest with you, but I do have to understand and know how to play it. Right. You know, especially sure. if I'm going to be a teacher. Right. You know, um, and I have played tenor before with Kevin, but yeah, again, you should see the color. Right. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. Yeah. There's no sure. way I'm doing yeah. that. So, so, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, you, why don't you keep saying what you were going to say? Yeah, for sure. So, at, at the end of the day, I've been playing this horn since fifth grade. Wow. Um, and, uh, well, actually, not this one specifically. Alto. Okay. Since fifth grade. I got this horn in seventh grade. So, that would be what for me? 20. 2009. My goodness. Yeah, 2009. Wow. And it has been the same ever since. I have not upgraded, not done much to it outside of a couple mouthpieces, you know. Um, but alto saxophone to me really fits Kevin's music because it has that beauty undertone. Sure. You know. Yeah. We're trying to get this um, in my mind when I play some of these things that Kevin wants me to play. I'm thinking, you know, birds. We're in the forest. We're trying yeah. to get nice little bird tones over here. Maybe you, you, you see a squirrel running, you know, oh, you got to do something yeah. a little quick on the horn there, too. Right, you know? okay. And because a lot of Kevin's music is very, I would say, spiritually based, right. you know, and very down-to-earth, I feel like that really fits those elements sure. of his music. So have you had, to, you haven't modified it in any way, have you had to replace anything? Has have anything had, worn out? A lot of the pads. <laughs> okay. And um, just so that the viewers understand, you know, the horn itself costs a lot of money, but the maintenance over time is really what it is. <laughs> you know? yeah. And the pads on it every single time cost me around $200, $300 to replace. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, through the years of playing and replacing pads, mm -hmm. has the tone improved? Yes. I would, would you say, say? So. Yeah. Uh, and that's in your mind, but in other people's minds. Do you hear more often now, boy, that sounds really good. Well, I used to hear a lot of negative things, I'll tell you that. Don't we all? Don't we all, exactly. You know? And so now that, you know, there's a lot of uh, personal improvements too that sure. you gotta do with, with, the, with the performance aspect of it. Okay. It is, a, it is nice to hear people's compliments. Now. Right, yeah. yeah. So, back to the other question, sometimes, I, thinking of questions too soon, You're but good. this this upcoming high school band game, yeah. are you going to have to like have a crash course brushing up on a whole bunch of instruments this summer? <laughs> Don't get me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the last time I played some of those instruments was probably back in April, back in March. You know? Well, that's not too long, It's not though. too long. That's not like 2005. No, I know, yeah. but uh, you know, I... If the kids are going to want somebody that knows what's up with their instruments. Sure. You know, and I, I think the rest of my summer is just going to be practicing those sure. you know, other instruments. Block my channel <laughs> and pretend you know what you're doing. You know, for you're sure, yeah. I yeah. won't let them see this. You right. Know? Yeah. Do we, oh, the, the percussion oh. things that you brought. Yeah. Honestly, 
These are just some uh, uh, shakers from church. Oh, really? Yeah, that's okay. all they were. My, uh, my parents back in the day, well, as a family back in the day, we used to play in the family church band. Okay. That's what we did. And so my parents would periodically buy things like this for the church band. This was actually bought for the drum set, the tambourine. Um, as you can see, it has that little attachment for the hi-hat, or really okay. anywhere that you want to put it on all the right. set. And that's what I'd, I'll be using tonight as well to gig, uh, to give that extra, you know, shaky sound to the music. Sure. Um, but these actually are more meaningful to me, and it's because I remember a lot of the time being in church and seeing my mom, you know, just with the shakes. Right. You know, yeah. uh, whenever she wasn't playing guitar, whenever she wasn't, you know, singing or trying to be the, you know, the choir director at the time. She has no musical experience, absolutely no musical experience. She used to, uh, she's from Mexico. Okay. And in Mexico, she led a church choir that used to compete, but without any formal training. Right. Right. So she, when she came and immigrated to the United States, she kind of wanted to continue that. Right. That's how she met my mom, my dad through the choir. Okay. You know, um, and so I remember seeing her trying to be that director, trying to be that person that everyone wants to pay sure. attention to. And yeah. Goes, you know. Right. And so every single time I play these, I think of my mother. Oh, wow. Cool. cool. Yeah. May I ask what religion this was? This was a Catholic religion. A Catholic religion. Yes. Okay. I am Catholic as well. Sure. Um, which is somewhat immaterial. And right. we all have a very relationship to religion. Yeah. But I... I find more often than not that I prompt people to remember that good or bad, their first memory of performance yeah. in music was often in a church. Was often in a church. So thank you. Yes, of and course. I um, played guitar for a while <clears throat> yeah. at one of the Catholic churches in Rapid. Sure. Catholic music was written by Jesuits who hate guitarists. Yes. <laughs> and I learned more about guitar. Mm -hmm. trying to play the Catholic Mass part. Yeah. The other thing I noticed was when Mass got over, I felt like I needed to go again. Yes. Because that one didn't count. Yeah. It's so busy <laughs> that you like don't hear what's going on. Right. Yeah. So sometimes when you perform, you know, you will get that feeling. <laughs> I remember um, at a gig specifically back in Iowa City. Uh, Kevin wasn't honest. This was in one of my my own bands, and I felt, well, you know, can we go again? Can we do this? Right, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> really, maybe that was a trial run, you know? Sure, yeah. So, do your mom and dad still play at church? So, my dad is, is getting up there in age, so okay. I think he's, he's pretty much retired from it. Um, but my mom, <laughs> I'm going to go back home, and I'm 100% sure one of the first things she's going to say is, well, first she's going to yell at me and be like, he's back! You know? <laughs> and then she's probably going to turn on, you know, some music and she'll just start singing. Oh, so she still awesome. keeps it up. She right. keeps it up. Because oh, cool. I, I know when she when she goes back to Mexico or whenever, um, she has the opportunity you know, to get, whether she gets called up to go to church in Davenport or in Muscatine right. or wherever, they're always going to want her to sing and she's always ready for it. Wants to be at least. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. My, um, I went to a very, very, very small country church. Sure. And still do when I'm out there. Right. And we really don't have any instrumentation. It's anywhere from 30 to 5 people at a mass. And for years, kind of by default, mom led the yeah. singing. She would pick out four songs and yeah. yell them out and sing. Mom was a really good singer in mm -hmm. high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. She went almost completely deaf oh. and it affected her tone. Sure. And that's bothered her immensely. I understand that. So, you know, yeah. Lots of respect to her because the fact that she still wants to keep doing it, yeah. still wants to keep continuing with that. Sure. With that yeah. Sense, you know? Right. It's inspiring. It's extremely inspiring. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Love you. Hey, <laughs> we've kind of left you out over here. You oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you Catholic? Or? So, I'm, uh, I actually went to a, a small country church as well. Oh, uh, Out cool. on the gravel road that I live on. All right. Uh, it's a Lutheran church. Okay. So, yeah, I remember growing up, uh, always going there, singing in the choir, uh, singing the church hymns, all that stuff. Right. So. Uh, it's, and uh, some people may get a little irritated at me for saying this, but the cultural aspect is also important. Definitely. And at Definitely. this point, I feel the need to shout out William Prince's Gospel First Nations for a taste of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Have either of you heard that album? I have not heard that album. I haven't either. Do you know who William Prince is? I've no, heard the name. name I don't know. Well, you got some YouTube in the name. Yeah, well, sounds good. Sounds good. But I think, is there anything else we need to talk about? I think we've covered a lot. I, think, yeah. I, I really do. And it's been a hell of a show. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've got a do my little thing and then we'll shut it off and you guys play, we'll turn it back on and you guys play. And then, right, <laughs> that 
Sounds good Remember to me. my sponsorship with Trash K LLC. Uh, large round and square bales and custom haying services, although you may not need it this year. 5150858. Neil Pert says, change your drum heads. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Kevin Banky temporary duo. We're going to do a song uh, that I released this fall called Runaway. And uh, I wrote this song about you know, pursuing those things in life that you truly love doing and that really bring happiness in your life. And um, that it's important to, if you're not doing those things, to run away and, and to do those things and be happy. And so I hope you guys enjoy. And please check it out. I've got it, uh, got it up on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, all that stuff, uh, and YouTube as well. Uh, so please go check that out under my name, Kevin Banky, and the name of the song is Runaway. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> For something you just can't see Can you feel its power What it means to be free There's a fire burning To warm you from your past And soon these days Will all just turn to So run away, run away It's always another day Run away with me Life is moving so fast And this breath could just be yours So just run away Run away with me Smoke in the moonlight to cover your fears As time goes by, we'll all disappear So go and lay your heart out in Let life's worries fade to somewhere far So run away, and run away Don't wait another day Run away with me Life is so fast, and this breath could just be yours. So just run away, run away with me. Aren't you sick of only living while you sleep? Counting hours till you drift off the young street. Can you feel the way the days pass you by? Don't be scared to live before you die. Life's a smooth as rain, getting caught in the rain. It's the ground with your feet. So let's just run away. Don't wait another day to run away with me. Thank you. 
And this breath can just be your last So run away, please run away Thanks for watching, everybody.